FECO emulsification in very dense brown cataract. Here is a 62 year old man who presented to me complaining of severe gradual drop of vision in his right eye. His vision for this eye was hand motion in front of his face. I started with 2.2 clear cornea incision, then staining the anterior capsule using a three band blue underneath the air bubble. Then I start the rexes. You can see the anterior capsule is fibrosed. Once I do a small incision in the anterior capsule, the liquefied cortex comes out from the lens. I'm trying to do small rexes, but you can see the liquefied cortex and the pressure inside the lens is high. I couldn't complete the small rexes because of the liquefied cortex. So then I use the cannula again to aspirate this liquefied cortex then injecting a viscoelastic dispersive one to protect the endothelium of the cornea here i try to avoid the fibrosed area of the anterior capsule it seems the uh, pressure inside the lens decreased uh, properly then i continue the rexes but what happened here you can see the peripheral extension at this white arrow here I inject again dispersive OVD, then I open side port to use a micro scissor to do a small snip in the anterior capsule as you can see. Then I complete the capsular rixes. You can see the capsular rixes, it's uh, more than 5 mm with peripheral extension. Then I open the second side port. Here I introduce the FECO probe. I try to hold all the nucleus and take it out of the capsular bag into the anterior chamber. At this time also I keep the irrigation. Then I used the viscoelastic to prevent collapsing of the capsular bag i inject the viscoelastic anterior and also behind the nucleus you can see the density of this cataract i try to push the nucleus to see what's happened if this peripheral extension the pre-equatorial or uh, goes to affect the posterior capsule it seems that the posterior capsule is intact so I choose to continue FECO emulsification. You can see the density of this cataract. Here is the chop technique. I chop this dense cataract as it's a clear to smaller pieces with injection of a, co uh, a dispersive OVD to protect the endothelium of the cornea as I am doing the emulsification of this dense cataract in the anterior chamber. You can see the emulsifying of this dense cataract has been done uh, properly. You can see the posterior capsule is intact. Here is a very important step to prevent collapsing of the anterior chamber and the capsular back. You can inject the viscoelastic before taking the irrigation out from the anterior chamber, then implanting a single piece hydrophobic IOL inside the capsular bag with haptic. Uh, haptics of the IOL perpendicular with this direction of the peripheral extension then washing the OVD from the anterior chamber and behind the IOL then doing stromal hydration and the surgery went without any complication here you can see the patient on the second day after the surgery the cornea is clear there was mild corneal edema and the patient was very happy on the second day post-operatively and after one week uh, the cornea was totally clear with uh, an aided visual acuity for this patient improved to be 20-22. Thank you for watching this video.